Patch 12.3 has a new meta, and therefore it's time for another tier list. Then I'll go through my strategy for climbing on this patch, then I'll quickly run through how to play all the comps I mentioned. From the last tier list, there is a decent amount of changes. Innovators are on top right now, and they are very dominant in the meta. If you hit the dragon, it's almost always an insta win. And even the bear is enough to get you an easy top 4 most of the time. The consistency and power of this comp is what puts it in S tier alone. Syndicate Shaco climbed up to A tier, and this comp generally does well every game, and you can even win games if you hit Shaco 3 star and Akali 2 star. I would also say that this comp even climbs up to S tier if you are able to hit 7 Syndicate in your game. Challengers continue to be strong, but with the Hurricane nerf it's a little less consistent, so it falls down to A tier. Both Yon and Fiora are viable carries, and you can get 6 challengers online without Kai'Sa, so it's still one of the best comps right now. Imperial are once again an A tier, both Talon reroll and Samira reroll work, but I have seen people get more success with Samira. Swain reroll with Imperials exists, but it's significantly weaker than Samira or Talon. Kog'Maw reroll is about as strong as it was last patch, and since it didn't get buffed or nerfed, it continues to be a strong comp you can climb with. Arcana's Lux is only lower end of A tier. She struggles a little too much into innovators if they are running a lot of enchanters, and syndicates play a little too well into her as well. Besides that, she feels great in the meta. Chemtech Urgot falls down to A tier. Since Urgot's DPS is quite low, it has a hard time against innovators, and Urgot also feels weaker overall after the Hurricane nerf last patch. In B tier, we have Trundle reroll. He fell off a little at the end of last patch, and with the Hurricane nerf, it's even weaker this patch. I also want to point out that Trundle will be gone in patch 12.4, so this is the last patch when you can play Trundle reroll. Socialite Kai'Sa continues to be one of the best comps in the game if you are able to 2 star her and Galio. The issue is that it requires a ton of gold, so it's the ultimate 1st or 8th comp in this patch. If it was a comp you could play more often, it would definitely go to A or S tier, so if you have a high roll game, this is definitely the comp to go for. Mutants are back in B tier, I have seen people top 4 and win games if they are able to hit Cho'Gath 3 star, but the comp is reliant on an early Cho'Gath, so he can start gaining stats right off the bat. And it also requires you to have a good early and mid game, so you have enough HP to hit both Cho 3 star and Malzahar 3 star to win the game. Sniper Jin still struggles, even after the small bodyguard buffs. Therefore, if you are in a spot to play Jin this patch, it's much better to just pivot into Yon or Urgot instead, as those 4 cross carries are just straight up better right now. 6 Yordles hasn't changed at all, if you have 3 Yordles on 2-1, you can go for it, but saving HP is still the hardest part about this comp. Now moving on to my strategy for climbing on this patch, I always start tier on the first carousel, and then default towards innovators from there. I start tier as you need 1 tier for Sojin on Seraphine, if you get more tiers than that then there are multiple uses of them, tier makes Chalice which is great to buff up your entire team, blue buff which is crucial to make Hymer a secondary carry, Archangels is a great third item for Seraphine, and another Sojin on Orianna or Heimerdinger is also fantastic. From there the dream opener is 3 innovators on 2-1, and to make that more likely I always buy Ezreal and Singed on stage 1 to increase the likelihood of hitting that board. Other units that work great with that is Scrap units to get free items on Ezreal, Sigs and Blitzcrank are the two I play most commonly with that board. From there I usually try to get in 4 Scrap, 2 Bodyguards, or 3 Yordles in the mid game. If I don't hit innovators early, I pivot into Arcanus Lux if I have AP items, or Challenger Yone if I have AD items. Now let's cover how to play the comps mentioned. I've already made in-depth guides on most of these, so I will link my set 6 comp playlist in the description. Innovators are played the same way, pick between Heimerdinger, Seraphine, or Orianna carry. The only item you absolutely need is Morello on Seraphine. You will always end up with this board at level 8 minus the Taric, and then you can replace him with anything depending on your augments. The best ones are Innovator Heart, anything to do with Scholars, any healing items like First Aid Kit is also amazing. With Syndicate Shaco, you slow roll at level 7 or 8 depending on your HP and gold total. You play this board minus Yumi at level 7 and then add in Yumi at level 8. You slow roll for Shaco, Echo, and Talon 3 star and then replace Katarina with Akali late game. As for items, you want IE and the second item is Hurricane, Deathblade, or Last Whisperer, and then the last item is BTR Hodge. Items for Akali is not important as you won't choose star her in most games, and most of the time you will not even find her until very late into the game. Augments for Shaco are anything to do with Assassins or Syndicate, and other healing augments like Celestial Blessing and Thrill also work great. Yone is the same old story, use Leona Brahm as your frontline, and then put in challengers to buff up Yone. Hurricane is core, then pick up either QSS or GA as your second item, and the third item is either Last Whisper or Giant Slayer depending on your lobby. You can run Fiora as your primary carry as well if you find better items for her or 2 star her first. 
Kai'Sa, as always, is the late game carry you need to get your first place in most cases. The best augments are anything to do with challengers or more damage through Knife's Edge or Cybernetic Implants. Celestial Blessing and Thrill of the Hunt can also work to help out your challengers to sustain more. Imperial Samira reroll is played the same way. Sorrel at level 7 with this board until you hit Samira 3 star. Her best items are Last Whisper, IE, and BT, but other items like Hurricane, Giant Slayer, and Deathblade work as well. But you always need at least one healing item on her. At level 8, you want either 4 challengers, Braum, or Galio, depending on your augments. And the best augments are All for One, Trade Sector, and Golden Ticket, or other damage ones like Knife's Edge and Cybernetic Implants. With Cogma Reroll, you slow roll with this board at level 5 by removing Blitz and Malsahar. At level 6, add in Blitz, and at level 7, add in Malsahar. 3 star Cogma and Cassadin, and if you hit Garen, Caitlyn, and Graves 3 star, that's a massive bonus as well. For Kogma, you need Rage Blade and then pick between Static Shiv, Giant Slayer, and Hodge as your last two items. The best augments are anything to do with Protectors, plus one Mutant is also great if the trait is Blademaster, and Trade Sector and Golden Ticket are also fantastic. Featherweights, Sniper Nest, and Sharpshooters are also great for this comp. Lux is the same old story, you can cut down to 4 Arcanus to add in Brahma and Leona if you need more frontline, and you can also run Vector as your primary carry if you're able to 2 star him with Sojin plus 2 damage items. For Kenta Gurga, this is the ideal board to end up with at level 8, although it is a lot harder to hit this capped version with a new level 8 shop odds. Until you hit the legendaries, you will run Warwick over Victor, GP over Jinx, and Illawi over Tom Kench. Items for Urgot are still the same. Hurricane is a core item, Last Whisper is great as a secondary item and as it helps you get through bodyguards, but since there are less of them in this meta, it's not as important as on the last patch. The third item as always depends, but GA, IE, Deathblade, and Giant Slayer are all great third items for Urgot. The best augments are anything to do with chemtex, Knife's Edge is great for more damage, and healing augments like First Aid Kit are also great to sustain your chemtech units. Trunnel Reroll is still played the same way, but now going for 4 scrap at level 6 is better in my opinion. You want to end up with this board at level 8 with both comps. Hurricane and BT are core items on Trundle, but you usually don't need BT until stage 4, as that's when most of the burst damage starts coming in. Finish off with QSS or RFC as the third item. The best augments are Junkyard, Featherweights, and Econ augments like Trade Sector and Golden Ticket. Other augments like Thrill of the Hunt and Knife's Edge also work great. With Kai'Sa Carry, you need to have a lot of gold at level 8 and end up with this board. Best items for Kai'Sa is Morello, GA, Shiv, Rageblade, and Hodge. Pick 3 out of these 5 and you will do just fine. You can also itemize Gally with AD items if you get him 2 star. Best augments are anything to do with Socialite, Challenger Heart is also great, and healing augments like Thrill of the Hunt or Celestial Blessing are also great. With Mutants, you need an early Cho'Gath to stack him up early. From there, you want to end up with this board at level 8, and then you want to 3-star your Cho'Gath and Malzahar to win the game. Cho'Gath wants 3 tank items and at least 1 redemption as he heals percentage HP. Malzahar wants Morello and Blue Buff, and then a 3rd damage item like Deathcap, JG, Hodge, or Gunblade. Best augments are anything to do with Mutants, Portable Forge is great, and Protector Crest is amazing to get Protector Cho'Gath online. Shrug it off or Celestial Blessing are also great to heal up Cho'Gath. I've made guides on the rest of the comps in the tier list as well, so check those out in the playlist down below. Thank you so much for watching, if you learned something, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, comment down below what video you want me to make next, and if you want to get better at TFT, join the Discord, we got over 7,000 other players there who are hungry to climb. And if you want to get coached by me, the information is over on the Discord server as well. So take care, and see you in the next video.